All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're very fortunate to have with us today the all the members of the group, the original TAMS. Mr. Robert Smith is in the house with us. Uh, thank you for coming, and we're going to go around the room and have each one of you introduce yourselves to us and tell us what you do with the band now. Go ahead, man. You first. You're looking at me. You go first. <laughs> well, my name is Ronnie Robinson. I've been in the group since 1993, and I'm second tenor. Second tenor since 1993. Wow. All right, man. My name is Kenneth Brown. They like to call me KB for short. And uh, I've been with the Tams ever since the early 90s. I guess I was probably there maybe at least a year or two before Ronnie. Actually, okay. I uh, contacted Ronnie to get in the group. And I um, believe one of the band members at that time contacted me and told me about the opportunity when uh, Rob were looking for guys to uh, fill his roster of, of Tams. Awesome. And, sir, you? Uh, my name is Lester Carr. Uh-huh. Uh, I was first and second tenor sometimes lead, uh, as, as do the rest of us. Yeah. Um, I've been with the group now about 27, <laughs> six years or something <laughs> like that, you know. Wow. But uh, I can't honestly say I never, I never missed a gig. <laughs> you know, I, we all the team players you know we try to be in a way yeah that's yeah. great man mm -hmm. we, we gotta do what we got to do i, I gotta hear some harmony or something man uh -oh, yeah. some, some, yeah. somebody pick yeah. something let's, let's, you know, <clears throat> we did a show last night at the spanish galleon uh -huh. which went very well we had a good time with it I'm a little voice, vocal weary. Right I'll, I'll tell you that. I don't usually talk in this bass voice. So. Yeah, we was on a show with some of the, some of the legends. Also, uh, yeah, the, who was the Catalinas were there. Uh, you Ember. you saw Jackie Gore with the Embers. The Embers. Uh, the lady who uh, had the um, yeah the, the Beach Club. That she was with that family. What was yeah. the name of that uh, that band that used to play with the you Monsters? Guys? Yeah, the Monsters were there. Oh man. And the oh, yeah. Tams. And the Tams. <laughs> and you think too, see, uh what we do, we try to give it a hundred hundred and ten percent. Huh? At least a hundred and one percent. Yeah. So when you give it all, what's left? You know, we come back we we could we can do something. Well, I but, tell you. You know, it's kinda <laughs> it ain't there. Right? I'm broken. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> and we stay up all night, you know. No, surely not. <laughs> not after all these years. <laughs> <laughs> you you become veterans though. Yeah. You know what I mean? You're professionals. Yeah, it automatic it just happens comes out. It, it, it'll like it's definitely be to. in a different key, I tell you that. <laughs> I would like but to, we'll still be in the, in the same wrong key. <laughs> I would like to say a lot of jokes is up here, but uh, yeah. everybody is a beautiful thing. I, yeah, it's yeah. an honor for me to be here and, and just to talk to a legend of yourself that's been around these groups for so long. Mm -hmm. And also Robert Lee Smith, who, who's uh, been like a father to all of us, you know, learning the business and understanding what's going to do and what's going to happen on, on certain levels of the business. And, and, it's, and it's a beautiful thing, and God is good, and, and I'm just honored to even to be here to even talk about the legends itself that's been around for so long. So any questions that you have, I'm sure we can answer with the most fullest, but thank you for your love and your support. Uh, man, just tickled to death to have you. Mr. Smith, you wanted to say yes, something? Uh, yeah, the guys, they were going around calling themselves the Joe Pope Tam. I am the only Joe Pope Tam left. Uh, you know, they, those guys are not Joe Pope Tam. Some of those guys did not even know Joe Pope. Uh -huh. <laughs> Joe Pope is, was the lead singer for the Tams, and they they call themselves the Joe Pope Tam. Uh -huh. They are not Joe Pope Tam. I'm the Joe Pope Tam, and I'm the only original member that was with Joe Pope at the time when we started. All right. Uh -huh. Also, don't uh, you, don't get it misunderstood. If they're still, you know, we respect each other. Right. You know, we're friends. We see each other. It's just like it's, it ain't about the business. Like, hey, what's what's going on? You know, one of those Well, that's so, good to hear. But when yeah. it comes down to business, it's not right. It's just it ain't right. Yeah. It's done. Well, and I can imagine, you know, a situation like that where the, the group splits and over time, two groups with the same name continue to play, that there's got to be some animosity and all that, you know? Well, you know, of course, a little bit. But, you know, there's a lot of music to go around. Uh -huh. I mean, because of Robert Lee Smith, I've known about Myrtle Beach. I had not known about Myrtle Beach until I had the pleasure of working with Robert. Awesome. He's exposed me to so much about the whole beach music scene and how large um, 
a following that there is all along the coast. I mean, from here all the way around to uh, Mobile to yeah, man. Uh, 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 the Luxie. And I like that term, beach music scene. That'd be a good name for a magazine, <laughs> wouldn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Somewhere before. Or a TV show or something, you know? But, uh, you know, <laughs> in music business, you know, there's always different things going on with names and rights and, and so forth it's not the first time this has happened oh, in, no. in in the industry we've seen it with yeah. all of the great groups up there yeah. you know but it's a pleasure for us to yeah. just be down here to uh, experience it to learn from robert he's exposed us to a lot of things that are in the southeast region um uh, and like ronnie said you know it's, it's a blessing it really is a blessing awesome also i think also what what, what is really happening is um I'm sure back in the day when the group was being booked, it was booked under one name. Right. So when the split came about, nobody knows, and even now, unless somebody get it out there, this is the split over here. You've been doing it this way, but the wrong, the right thing is over here. Yeah. You see? I, and, I know exactly what you're yeah. saying, yeah. And so now to get our name out like that, because we had a situation when people thought they was getting us, because that's the way they've been doing it. They got some, got the other guys. Right. You see? I can imagine the confusion that's so out that's there. that's the confusion. That. Yeah. I'd like to say thank you to all the fans on the fan base of the Tams. And um, you can catch us on the website of Robert Lee Smith and his original Tams. Or you can pull up Be Young, Be Foolish, Be Happy. That'll get you to the Robert Lee website if you want to um, see a little exactly. bit more on, on his on the legendary of, of Robert Lee Smith. I'm glad you brought that out. That's BeYoungBeFoolish.com. Is, is that a correction? Yeah, that's correct. BeYoungBeFoolish.com. BeYoungBeFoolish.com. Well, yeah. you, you see Robert corrected that, right? You can, <laughs> so, you, you yeah, can yeah, Google yeah. it, too. So. <laughs> BeYoungBeFoolish.com. Yeah. But also you can pull up Robert Lee Smith and, and his original. Yes, Original Tam. You can see the uh, beautiful right. website of uh, the show live and things like that. And I just want to say thank you to the people who come out last night supporting the Tams all these years. Robert, old friends and people he's been knowing for years. I, I like to say thank you and God bless. And if no one told you they love y'all today. God and the Tams love you. There also, you I would like to say if anybody want to know anything about the Tams, they can contact me because I'm the only one that knows anything about the Tams. Diane. Nobody knows nothing but the, but the Tam but me because I was with the Tam from day one. From day one. You got the whole story, don't you? I got the Smith? whole story. Like after and I said, a lot of this stuff in here was not true. I know the whole story of the Tams. Awesome. Now, let me ask you guys something. I'll go around the room, too, and, and, and ask you some questions. Um, what's your earliest memory of the Tams? And let's start with you first, sir. Memories of the Tams? Yeah, before you became a member of this group, tell I, me about the Tams. I went to high school with them. Did you really? They was they they was a little they was ahead of me, uh -huh. but they was the greatest thing that came out of Howard High. David Howard T, High. David T. Howard High. Yep. It was like wow, this group, this group, and I start seeing them on TV. You know, I thought that was cool though. Oh, to, to man. The guys, yeah. Did you and, ever and think he, you'd be singing with them? Saying, can you imagine? <laughs> Here I am. <laughs> this is awesome. You know, I first ran into the song, What Kind of Fool Do You Think I Am? I grew up in Chicago. Uh -huh. And, uh, you know, the radio stations up there always played, you know, Motown and different uh, genres right. like that. And I knew about the song, but I had never known about the guys. Uh -huh. And then when I come to uh, Atlanta to go to college at Morris Brown College, and I graduated from Brown and I moved out to the Decatur area. Uh -huh. And so where I was working, up on Candler Road, I would see this bus. Mm -hmm. They would park their big tour bus uh -huh. on the parking lot across from where I was working. And I always paid attention to the bus, but I never thought that I would actually be involved, you know, with the guys that are on this bus. And it was the Tams bus had their name on the side, you know, all big and blue letters, you know. Awesome. And then, uh, of course, like I said earlier, uh, a band member told me about the opportunity. And now here I am, you know, working with Robert. Yeah. yeah, that's great. And I had no idea before this interview that you guys had all been together that long. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, most definitely. The Tams played my wedding. <laughs> <laughs> I was blessed with that. You know, awesome. That was the gift. You know, uh, We all took our hat off and put it over our heart at his wedding. To see him <laughs> as, a, as a Tam finna get married at that time it was a blessing, a beautiful thing. But me, as my talking about my individual uh, experience, I, I have two. One, I learned about 
what kind of fool you think I am and be on me foolish be happy from the radio. My 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 on life experience with Robert when you when you when you're doing a show with Robert Lee Smith, you have to be very prompt on this stage. Uh -huh. This is a joke, but it did happen. This was over twenty something years ago. I'm doing my show and I'm I'm just my first show out with the Tams and all the guys was here. <laughs> and we're doing this big show and I messed up a step and I turned around, my microphone was in the back. It wasn't in the front anymore. It was put in the back. <laughs> Robert, Robert, run, 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 run. <laughs> gotta get it right. Gotta get it right. <laughs> so, so, you, know, so, you, gotta be, so. you gotta be right in this business. <laughs> so, so saying all that, after that, I told these guys, that'll never happen again. I'm gonna be the best dancer. So ever since then, I've just been trying to do my best as an individual, a person, and become a better friend, a better father, a better son, and most of all, you know, uh, just a better... Uh, uh, commentate on the stage because on stage means a lot to me. Something's been going on, but once I get on stage, I'm focused. Yeah, that's so cool. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, it is. And you know, you hit on something there too. You guys aren't just singing; you're performing. You're dancing. You guys are yeah, entertainers from the word yes. go. You know, I mean, you the see so many go. people singing along. They know all of the songs. They know the words. Look They're reminiscing. Kid. You know, and it, like you said, kids. I mean, the Tam embraces from. From grandchildren, you know, to grandmothers and fathers, you know. I mean, it's a family thing. I mean, even so much, even when I mentioned I got married, you know, uh, Rob and his lovely wife, Peg. Hey, Peg. <laughs> hey, you know, they went on my honeymoon cruise, you know. We, yeah. I mean, we all just hung together and hung out like that, and we, we take care of each other. That, that's awesome. Let's talk about beach music for a minute. I'm going to tell you a little bit about mine, and then I want to hear your uh, memory of beach music. I'm from northeast Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Grew up loving R&B and Motown and the Tams, man. I love those songs. And I came to, to Myrtle Beach and heard that music, and people called it beach music. Right. And I went, wow, you know, we don't have beach music back home, but we got this. <laughs> and I always like to ask artists like you guys that have been in the business for a while, you, you, I mean, the beach music industry embraced your music, you know, and I think that's awesome because – you know we're very fortunate that we've that we've got uh, that we've got an industry like that. We've got an academy. We've got all these things, and it supports that kind of music. Now, again, each one of you, tell, did did you know about beach music? I did not. I didn't know anything about beach music. No, <laughs> they was called Atlanta Tams at the time. You know, they was you know that's where that was. I didn't know anything about well, beach music when they when they when I first got the interview, they would ask me about beach. Said I asked them what is beach music. Right. They said it is is toe tapping, beer drinking music. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that pretty much sums it up, doesn't it? <laughs> well, they still doing it like that. You know, with all of the different styles of music, I mean because. I've been exposed to gospel first in my life because my family, you know, they right. come up singing gospel and then jazz, you know, because my parents listen to that. And so here I am listening to the radio and, and getting involved with music. And of course, Motown is right there with Chicago and the way that they uh, expose you on the radio to right. all the different sounds. So, of course, we got all the Motown artists. All right. Now, I didn't know it was called beach music at that time. And I say it that way. Not that Motown is beach music, but there are Motown songs that translate that well yeah. over into the beach music scene, especially some of the things that were done by the Four Tops. Uh, but not just them, the Temps, you know. Yep. I mean, wow. I mean, it, it blew my mind. So when I got down here and then I'm listening to all these songs, just like even uh, I'm a girl watcher, I'm yeah. a girl watcher. You know, all these songs were on the radio up there. Uh -huh. But they didn't call it beach music up there. Yeah. And then right. what you all do is called the shag down here. Yeah. We called it the bop in Chicago. Ah, okay. okay. And now today it's the same genre, but they call it stepping. But what I found out about beach music is, number one, it's the stories yeah. in the song, you know, and then the orchestration with the horns. And then, like you say, it's, it's nice and easy, the kind of thing that you, when you're sitting on the beach, you just want to hear it nice and it easy feels good, nice man. Kind of songs, yeah, the feel good songs yeah. like that. And then I was like, wow, you know, you, what's the girl's name? Uh, oh man, uh, oh, I can't think of the artist, but I <laughs> listened to all of them. Yeah. And then when I got a chance to see, uh, what is it? Repeat had the series of beach music songs, yes. the, the anthology. Yeah. Yep. And I had to have that, you know, because a lot of the stuff that I knew about, you know, uh, uh, 
what's the cat's name? Uh, Billy Stewart, you know, sitting yeah. in the park and, and all, all those types of songs. to happy music. Guys. Yeah, that's man. really what it is. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's just happy music. So we didn't call it Beach, but I was I involved love with it. Beach music. There we go. Because I can feel it down in my bones. Come that's on, a guys. Beautiful song. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it is. It's great. Yeah, it, it is yeah. great. Um, it, what. If anything else you guys want to add before we wrap things up? Uh, let me just say this. It's an absolute pleasure to have you guys in our studio. I mean, it's like I said, I didn't get up this morning thinking I was going to be interviewing the Tams. <laughs> but I'm glad you came upon my magazine and, and found me. This is a real pleasure. You got the real one. That was God's doing. I yeah. think you're right, man. I yeah. think you're right. Yeah, I do, too. Because hey, I, I, I eat in that restaurant occasionally, you know, once mm -hmm. or twice a month maybe. And every, and they let me put my magazines out there. And I went in this morning and, and ate, and the rack was empty. And so I put new magazines in. You guys just happened in after me and found one. Yeah, It was God's doing again. There you go, man. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Well, Mr. Smith, you got anything you want to add before we wrap it up? No, I just I want the, I want the uh, people in Radio Land to know that Robert Lee Smith and his town are still alive and kicking. And if, and if people want to book you guys, they can go to beyoungbefoolish.com. Visit us on our website. Or they can Google Robert Lee Smith and his original Tams and find you that way. That's right. Right. Mm -hmm. Anything else? That's, that's it. Unless, and I'm not going to get any harmony still? No, I don't know. Man. I, I wouldn't, I <laughs> I wouldn't just hurt can't your let, ears I like just that. can't think of just that. Just in love. It's all right. You're, You're just, just in, in love. love. It's, it's all right. right. You're just in love. love. It's, it's all right. right. You just it's all right. It's all right. You just in love. It's all right. It's all right. You just in love. It's all right. It's all right. You just in love. It's all right. 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 Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Yeah, that is all right. Thanks so much, guys. Hey, God bless you, man. I tell you, it's an honor to have someone like you to keep this. They said abuse music is 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 gone, but it's happened. It has not been forgotten. No, they never said it. And it's still here. It's still here, man. Beautiful, live and beautiful. And God bless you. Thank you, man. Thank you so much for having us. It's my pleasure. All right. Ha, ha, ha.